Let's talk a little bit about Google Music LM. It's an advanced way of using generative AI to make your own music tracks just by typing in an idea you have in your head. This is in uh, an early access experimental Google Labs kind of phase at the moment, so there might be some unpredictable behaviours here. Essentially, you make a good prompt. It tells you here to be very descriptive, so electronic or classical music instruments sound best. Mention the vibe, the mood, the emotion you want to create. Certain queries that mention specific artists that include vocals will not be generated. I guess that's because it's a, it's a copyright minefield at the moment, isn't it, with people trying to copy existing artists and styles exactly. So that's understandable. And you can also improve the model by giving out trophies. So which track is better? Give it a trophy and the feedback will improve Music LM for everyone. I guess it's a bit like the thumbs up and thumbs down on ChatGPT. If you get a good response, you thumb it up and if it makes nonsense or it's false information, you thumb it down, right? This is an example of how Music LM from Google works. Vocal trance music. Let's see what comes up if I generate something like that. What we're going to get from this part. Interesting. Can't hear the vocals. It's kind of a mishmash, isn't it? This is definitely a start as to where generative AI is going in the audio industry. Oh, this one's good. Yeah. Yeah, I like this one. I like this one enough to give it a trophy. And I wonder what happens if you pop that. Send feedback. Oh, download. That's cool. So I can actually download that. So I've, I've, I've been able to download that. So for instance, if I were to go over into Adobe Audition, I can drag the MP3 file of that track in and I can play about with it. Look at that. Now, obviously, it's a very short loop, a very short sample that it gives me of just 20 seconds. So the Music LM generator has given me 20 seconds of vocal trance music, or, or so it says. Um, I guess I could go into uh, multi-track here in Audition. I can drag this in. And, uh, oh, yes, sample rates don't match. I see. Yeah, very low quality as well, 24 uh, thousand hertz, so nowhere near the 41,000 or the 48,000 for video we'd expect. And actually, it's generating in mono as well, interestingly enough. So at the moment, this very much is a very, very early access experiment, but I'm getting a 32 bit file, MP3 32K BBS. I can see here in Audition. So yeah, the audio fidelity is absolutely not usable in a sort of professional environment, but for a test, I could go in and sort of enable Remix here. And uh, Adobe Audition Remix does a great job of extending the length of tracks. So if I wanted to make that into a one minute talk over piece of music, I could do that and it's made the cuts. Yeah, and it's made seamless cuts there. So I can kind of extend the music that Google's Music LM generative AI spits out from my text prompts by using Adobe Audition Remix, which is pretty cool. Is doing a very nice kind of mix there. It did say in the introduction screen that it threw up when I first got in here, it says it, it's not going to generate stuff if I use artist names. So if I said pop, let's try this, pop music in the style of Katy Perry and see if it throws anything back at me. Oh, it's no, can't generate audio for that. Let's just try someone else just to make sure that wasn't a, a fluke there. The style of Kylie Minogue. No, so it's an absolute no in general, I would say. It's not going to generate uh, from a text prompt that contains uh, a famous artist or composer in there. I wonder, though, if we said uh, classical music like Mozart. I wonder if we go for... No, absolutely not. So anyone who exists or has ever existed... <laughs> Google's Music LM uh, text to audio generator is going nowhere near it. It will not go anywhere near generating music in the style of different artists. Um, but interestingly enough, what about Star Wars music? So in the style of a movie or something, or is it going to completely throw it off? No, it's not. Oh, interesting. Wow. Okay, let's see what it does. Okay, so this is a potential unheard, never before used Star Wars track. Hey. 
It could pass. It's a little cheesy. What about track two? And let's try the same again. We're doing movie franchises here. Harry Potter. Harry Potter music. No, doesn't like that. What about... Let's try one more of my favourite movies of all time. Back to the Future music. Let's throw that at it and see what comes out. Uh, no, it's not going anywhere near that. Interesting that it picked up Star Wars, though. At the moment, I don't think there is a limit to the amount of music you can generate. But it is definitely the starting sparks of what will be possible and what will become commonplace. And I think in terms of generating music and audio to accompany your production pieces, if you're working in audio or music, this is very much going to become commonplace. You'll be reaching over to AI, just like, you know, writers at the moment uh, are going to chat GPT or people who want stuff uh, produced, they're going to chat GPT for that. People who want, like, images or product images made, they'll go to places like Midjourney or Dali for that. And there's all kinds of generative AI. I mean, the, the fact that there are some uh, software programs out there now, models that can, like, listen to one minute or less of someone speaking and generate a complete clone of the voice and it's definitely putting us in a in a brand new place here in terms of the way AI can assist us. I don't think it will replace us. Uh, and the way I've seen Google uh, explain this in their I/O keynote, uh, they have very much presented it as you know you're you're an assist you're assistant you're working in collaboration. In fact, the the. The way that they're describing it as working with Google Workspace, for instance, is, is a duo. So it's it's you and the AI. It's not the AI on its own creating something and you'll never need it again. It's a collaboration, human-machine collaboration. But, I mean, watch this space as uh, AGI gets ever and ever closer and, uh, you know, who, who knows? Let's do upbeat, positive music to kind of round this off with so it only does what we feed it and it can't create anything new we need the human brain for new stuff there we go so thank you very much for watching this live stream about google's generative ai for music text to music just from a single prompt you can start making some insanely cool tracks that eventually you'll be able to use in your creations Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and enjoy creating.